gone out of his town, comes back and finds that his house is on fire. It was one of the most beautiful houses in the town and the men loved the house the most. Many were ready to give double price for the house, but he had never agreed for any price and now it is just burning before his eyes. And thousands of people have gathered, but nothing can be done. The fire has spread so far that even if you try to put it out, nothing will be saved. So he becomes very sad. His son comes running and whispers something in his ear. Don't be worried. I sold it yesterday and at a very good price. Three times the offer was so good that I could not wait for you. Forgive me. Father says, thank God. It's not ours now. Then the father is relaxed and became a silent watcher, just like thousands of other watchers. Please think about it. Just a moment before, he was not a watcher. He was attached. It is the same house, the same fire. Everything is the same, but now he's not concerned. The second son <coughs> comes and says, What are you doing? You are smiling and the house is on fire. The father says, Don't you know? Your brother has sold it. He said, We have taken only advance amount, not settled yet fully. I doubt now that the man is going to purchase it now. Again, everything changes. Tears which had disappeared have come back to the father's eyes. His smile is no more there. The heart is beating fast. Gurga. <laughs> the, the water is gone. He is again attached. And then the third son comes and he says, that man is a man of his word. I have just come from him. He said, it doesn't matter whether the house is burnt or not, it is mine. And I'm going to pay the price that I have settled for. Neither you knew nor I knew that the house would catch on fire. Again, the joy is back. The family became watchers. The attachment is no more there. Actually, nothing has changed. Nothing is changing, just the feeling that I am the owner, I am not the owner of the house, makes the whole difference. <coughs> this simple metho methodology of watching the mind, that you have nothing to do with it, everything starts with a thought. Most of the thoughts are not yours, but from your parents, your teachers, your friends, the books, the movies, the television, the newspapers, etc. Just count how many thoughts are your own and you will be surprised that not a single thought is your own. All are from other sources. All are borrowed. Either dumped by others on you or foolishly dumped by yourself, upon yourself, but nothing is yours. Yes, in Gihoti. So a thought, you reap an action. So an act, you reap a habit. So a habit, you reap a character. And so a character, you reap a destiny. Thank you.